And um, Rob, you wrote an interesting article <laughs> on Deadspin.com. I don't know if you have the title. Are you shocked of it. this morning? Uh, no. I wouldn't say shocked. I mean, I know you. <laughs> right. So it wouldn't be shocking. Exactly. Right. I know you. Rob style. G, were you shocked when you saw it? Uh, no. Again, shocked is not the word I would use. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what was the title? Do you do you have the title in front of you? I know you uh, don't write the. And for people that don't know, the writers don't write the titles of the columns right. or their stories. So but. the headline on the on the column today was, uh, and of course I don't have it in front of me. Wow, what happened? Go here, Rob G. You got it. The headline reads, which I'm sure Rob Parker wrote himself. This no, sounds like something he would say. <laughs> the push for Tom Brady as the greatest ever. Feels like great white hope talk. There it is. And the you great know. Great white hope. So I'm going to go ahead and explain yourself and then I'll well, respond. We, we know in sports this has been a, a big part of a narrative for a long time. And I make the examples in the column as well. But Brett Favre was just on a radio show. He, he, he questioned whether Tom Brady was even the best quarterback. And a lot of people would say he, he does a lot not. of things. But, huh? I was going to say, Favre's not, the, in a strictly, you know, the best passer of the football, the strongest arm, the, all that. No, right. I'm Very just saying, few people would say Brady is. Right. So so he's not the best, quarter, or best quarterback playing his position, but he's the best player ever. So a lot of people have issue with that. And, and a lot of people that I, people I talk to, and, and this came up a lot. After I wrote the column, I got a lot of, response as you can imagine on social media people saying hey you know what's funny is I was talking to my friends about this just the other day it just seemed like it was forced it was it, it's not a ring count it can't be just a ring count Brady's seven and three so he has seven and Michael Jordan only has six so he's better than Michael Jordan uh Brady doesn't play defense so Michael so Jordan what, plays what both. do you talk what is forced that he's the best the GOAT quarterback, the GOAT no, no, NFL no. player, no, the, the GOAT best winner, player. What? The, no, the best team sport player is what the Okay, the, so the you're not saying is. that the GOAT, him being the That's not out the of the GOAT. question. If you read the que- uh, the column, I say no, I can I understand. Did, but I just uh, no, want, I'm saying, I don't know yeah. how all the listeners did, so I want you to explain I'm saying, what you're yeah, talking I, about. Yeah, I get that, that if you want to jump to saying that uh, he's the best quarterback uh, that you've seen, if you want to somehow stretch it into the best NFL player, if you want to say that, because he won more championships. But to say he was the best team sport player, I just can't get with. And, and it's a narrative, I think, that sometimes is forced out there because there was that with Larry Bird, and I brought up the Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, Dennis Rodman controversy, Chris, where I remember watching the NBA then, and, and, and it was – Larry Bird would make a bounce pass like, oh, my God, like nobody had ever made a bounce pass. It, it was over the top, and, and well, it felt remember, like. remember, he won three straight MVPs. That was what a lot of people pointed to, and he's the only player. But Rob G., check it out. I think he and Bill Russell are the only players ever to win to three do that. straight. And, Not and it Michael was, Jordan, Magic, right. none of them. So that, that was something I know people pointed to. Yeah, it, it was just like this whole thing. And, and sometimes there's nothing, Chris, you could put your finger on. There's no memo at the all-white office saying, push this, push that. You know what I mean? The Proud trying, Boys might have a memo. Well, they might have it on their agenda. <laughs> but do you know what I'm saying? It, it's not that. I, I mentioned Jerry Cooney. Do you remember Jerry Cooney? He was yeah, the great white hope boxer. The same breath is no, no, no. But I'm just saying the push for him to get a heavyweight bout oh, yeah. he and was, all that he when he wasn't deserving. Hope. Right? He yes. wasn't deserving is, is my point. In the Tom Brady case, I, I just don't get where that narrative is coming from when there are people who even question whether or not he's even the best, best quarterback in his own league. How could he be the best team sport player? I, I, I think that's a reach. And I think if, if there was, and, and this is me, if there was a black quarterback who maybe won, you know, I'm not saying exactly seven, but didn't uh, had had a great defense and had a great kicker and some other things went their way. I don't I don't know if that would be the drumbeat. It would be a different conversation. I think Brady's a guy who people like to to raise up. They like every they, there's a big faction of people who just like him and I get it and he can do no wrong. But it really felt like great white hope hype to me and and that's where I think that came from. I don't think 
he really is in that conversation or jumped over anybody because he has seven championships. I disagree wholeheartedly. Um, first of all, I do think he is the GOAT quarterback. Quarterback. And I don't know, you obviously don't think he's the GOAT quarterback. I'll say this. Those calling him the GOAT quarterback, it has nothing to do with a great white hope. I, I don't know many, I don't know any. Now, maybe there is one here or there. I didn't bring up the quarterback. But, but I'm just That's, saying, I, I just don't know make any sure that, black yeah. people that want a great white hope. And so, not that they're against it, but, you know, th- that they're going to just try to get one out of thin air and, and make one out that isn't one. But the number of black people that think he is the GOAT quarterback is humongous. Just to name a few who said What's the number? What's Jerry the Jerry Rice, percentage? Ray Lewis, Michael Irvin, Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders, Ed Reed, Emmitt Smith, Dar- Darrell Revis, Shannon Sharp, Randy Moss. That's just to name a few. Von Miller. I mean, we could go on and on. He is widely regarded. When you watch TV, just about everybody saying he's the go. Max Kellerman, who beat you out, for Tom Brady, hater number one, has now conceded he's the GOAT. That's why that's now why you people, might win it this that, year. That's why people have an issue because he's a flip-flopper. No, nah, he the ain't flip-flopping. Yes, he, he is. His he's job a flip-flopper. is it, we're we're analysts. He's and a if flip-flopper. he's seen evi- no, if he's seen evidence now that makes him say, you know what? This dude is the GOAT. Then good for him. I mean, what's the point in staying on a sinking ship? It if doesn't you even, want it to, doesn't fine. Even, it doesn't but even doesn't make sense. It just doesn't mean he's a flip-flop. J- Rob, you can bring all your stuff up. But the fact is Tom Brady had a game-winning drive. I don't care if it ended in a touchdown or a field goal. It was a game-winning drive in his first six Super Bowl wins. That's a fact. And I can tell you, Chris, what's a fact is that He's had nothing but great luck. He fumbled the ball against the Raiders. No, let you me make my point. Seven times. Let me, can no I make my point? In the history of can I make my point? You like just that. made yours. Let I me was make making my point. My point. You jumped All right, in. go ahead. Go ahead. Make you your point. You jumped in. Now, so I think that the, to say people saying he's the GOAT quarterback is great white hope is ludicrous because there's too many black people saying that. Now, I do take issue. I, there's no way I think he's the greatest football player in the NFL. And I've stated my reasons many times. I don't see that dude as a great, like, all-around football player. I'm going with a Lawrence Taylor, a Deion Sanders, a Jerry Rice, a Jim Brown, somebody like that, greatest football player. So, I, I, I mean, but that I think is, you know, it's just different people viewing. Michael Strahan has called him the greatest football player. He's black last time I checked. So, I don't think that plays into it. Greatest pl- athlete of all time. I mean, like you said, maybe some whites feel that way that, well, we're going to lift this white guy up over, you know, these black athletes. I, 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 I haven't heard that he's the great player. I've heard, you know, some people try and say greatest winner. You and I disagreed. I said, you, you, obviously, I, I don't see how you don't go with Bill Russell. I mean, unless you just want to say he didn't, you know, play in a, in a great era or, you know, he didn't he he didn't have many teams to beat or whatever. But um I, I just don't think it's yeah, I, I don't think that it's it's a great white hope syndrome. I just think some people think I mean his credentials are legit. They really are. And and, and you know, even with Larry Bird, when people were saying, you know, back in the 80s, and I wasn't a fan of Bird's, you know, and and but Bird was legit. Like, Bird, you had to give him his props. If somebody thought he was the best player in the world, they had reason to. And same with Tom Brady. It ain't like they saying it about Aaron Rodgers or Peyton Manning or, you know, John Elway. They saying it about a dude who's won more Super Bowls than any franchise. Any franchise. And And I've given you the records every, you know, which way. Of the teams he's gone to, including the Patriots, who were no good when he got there, and as soon as he took the first snap as a starter, they become great and won Super Bowls that year. 
So, and what I, happened in yeah. nine years in between that? I mean, I mean, was he, he there? He, he was good. Was he they there? Didn't win it. I'm asking you, was he yeah, there? Yeah, they didn't win it. All right, it. I mean, so it ain't, it ain't just good? that automatic. So Aaron when he Rogers took the snap, no, when he took the snap, then all of a sudden witches. they started to win. How did and they you, lose for nine years? Yourself. How did you've they already... lose for nine years if he was there, Chris? I'm asking you. If it's all Tom Brady, how did they lose for a decade? Did I, have I ever if it's said about it's him, all Tom Brady. No, I've that's what you're talking about. As soon defense. as he got there, they turned into a juggernaut. Did they, they lost for a decade? I'm asking you. Did he go away what and come the back? First four years. No, their defense was great the last three years. Adam Vinatieri was great the first three years. Why was that defense? He five won two and Super Bowls with one Why touchdown. Why were they five and thirteen Stop with it. that defense Stop. when he took it's over? It's overstated. It's you lazy. Are, it's simplistic. Are, oh, you're lazy. No, you're lazy. I'm this is lazy, lazy analysis. Calling yes. Tom Brady, Robert you're, yes. Ory isn't you're lazy, lazy because they both got no, seven rings. No, it's lazy. Look at the numbers. Oh, Look at the it. facts. You, no you have an all-time great coach on the team. You have an all-time great kicker really? on the team. What's he doing and you have Brady? an all-time great defense. What Don't tell me it's Tom Brady. Brady. It ain't Tom Brady. He misses the playoffs. That's so easy, Chris. That's easy. Anybody can see say that come on man dig i want you to do some homework dig, dig oh, a little God. bit if that yes. is the pot call in the kettle black. unbelievable the, one of the best coaches no one of the best kickers and a top five defense for all those championships and you're talking about it was tom brady you must be crazy watch the damn game I'm, I'm, tom brady beat the rams 13 to 3 tom brady didn't beat the rams 13 to 3 Tom Brady held the Falcons to no points in the second half. Hell no, he didn't. Who scored the 28 points in the second half? I'm talking about the, the he wouldn't be If the defense gave up three points, he they wouldn't have won that game. They gave up in the first half or first The Carolina Panthers kicked the ball out of, the, out that's, of, that's out of bounds. That's a special defense? Will you stop it? And you've outed yourself, Rob. You've already said. You've called because Max Kellerman had the honesty – to say, you know what? He I was can wrong. do whatever he wants. No, He's Max, not on this show. I, I Who listen. gives a damn about Max Kellerman? I don't. You want to work with him so that he can agree with you and you would feel good about yourself? I'm not that guy. I don't give a damn what Max Kellerman says. How's that for your That's data? Good if you're going to let me talk, Max Kellerman had the honesty to say, I was wrong. This guy is the GOAT. You've already outed yourself. You've called him a flip-flopper. Now, he changed his mind, but that's not a flip-flopper. There's new evidence. It's not like nothing happened. Brady didn't win something else, and Max just said, you know what, he's the GOAT. That would be flip-flopping. No, he saw something happened. Brady went to a lose a perennial loser and won the Super Bowl immediately. And that made Max say, you know what? I've been wrong. He's the GOAT. And you said that's flip-flopping. So you outed yourself. Tom Brady out myself. Win the next I'm as three. consistent as no, it can be, Chris. let me finish. No, I, let I me finish. There, listen to your madness. Now let me finish. Go ahead. You have, There's nothing that could happen. Tom Brady could win the next three Super Bowls. And just because you don't want to be a flip-flopper, you would never say he's the ghost. So you've outed yourself. No, you because the first six the championships. You weren't even watching the game. You watched Sunday. the first six you championships. You, have, you haven't watched. Out of your own mouth. You, didn't, you haven't even watched. I the, haven't the Rams watched what? The 13 to 3, and you're going to talk about Tom Brady won. I didn't watch that. Is that is all ridiculous. I didn't that's, watch that's that a, game. Is that, that what you I'm said? I'm talking about the idea that Tom Brady had Don't something to do with that. Don't ever tell me what I did that's, and didn't that's watch. That's what you're talking you got about. No idea it's what ridiculous. I'm go ahead. Just go you, ahead. You said Join the herd. Join the herd you right over the cliff. Papers, Join Rob. the herd over the you cliff. You're probably watching the That's so easy. Girls Just like you picked up the favorites every time. That's easy work, Chris. Anybody can do that. Good. That's good. Keep doing it. Nobody remembers anything you do because everybody's on board with that. You haven't stepped out on the, on the plank. You do the same thing that every other analyst does. Lazy. Really? Patrick Mahomes is going to win the MVP after game one. That's what you said. Go, go get really? the tape, Rob G. I do what everybody else does. Yes, that's what you do. Yes. All right. Uh, why then out of 32 Fox Sports uh, personalities – was I one of only five 
that picked Kansas City and Tampa Bay to reach the Super Bowl. That sounds like it was 27 others who didn't, including you. But everybody's doing it. In fact, I was the only one for all your 35 years of NFL coverage. You have yet to pick a Super Bowl right in the history of the odd couple. I've done it twice in three years. And I was the only one that didn't play in the NFL or work in the NFL who got it out of those five. So stop it with your nonsense. Yelling, screaming, saying wowsy, wowsy, woo-woo and all that ain't going to change the facts, Rob Parker. I got substance to my takes, period. 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. What do you guys think? That was heated. Are some members of the media, whether media or whatever, pushing a narrative about Tom Brady being the greatest team sports athlete simply because he's white? Jabril in Atlanta, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, what's happening? What's up, bro? Man, man. Yeah, I, I think it's a, a little, I can't say it's out because he's white, but they do kind of force Tom on you. And like I, I don't, me personally, I don't think he that great. Like in Super Bowls and just in the playoffs, like most of his Super Bowl, I ain't gonna say most, but a lot of his Super Bowls he won, he didn't even put up that many points. And he didn't look that good. All right, Jabril, thank you, buddy. Appreciate the call, Chad in Texas. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey guys, uh, you guys are great. Chris, you're awesome. Rob Parker, you're a hater, but I love the New York accent. That's the only reason why I listen to you. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous, Rob. That 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 is even. Why even bring Razor to it? The Great White Hope. It doesn't matter. Just because why that doesn't make a damn. Because what what if he didn't want to bring in A. B. Antonio Bryant? Okay. What if he didn't have a great relationship with his offensive coordinator? You don't point that out. Chad, let me let me ridiculous. ask you, Chad. Chad, yeah. just stop, yeah. okay? Because this the history of this country. Don't act as if this hasn't been done. White people used to what? take black people's hold on songs and make hits out of them, and and it's been done forever. Like the the black version didn't sell, but the white the the same version that was written by a black person, sang by a white person, was the number one hit in the country. So don't it, act like this stuff hasn't that is gone so on. Stupid. No, it ain't. I'm just telling you that there's racist stuff that goes on in this country. That's all. You could disagree with it. Why are you bringing in the sports? The sports is an opportunity for... No, why why were black baseball players allowed to play before 1947? That had anything to do with race or not? Uh, uh, Did that that have anything uh, to do with race? Rob, I don't think anybody can deny the history. I think a lot of whites have accepted the athletic greatness of blacks. I don't know any. I don't. It, 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 I don't know if there's a white person that would say Larry Bird is better than Michael Jordan. As much as they might want a white person that great, I, I you know. Ricardo saying, in Long I, Beach. Obviously, there's racism. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, how you guys doing? I like the show. Um, yeah, you know what? I gotta say, Rob Parker is uh, is kind of on the money with this. Um, Look, let me be honest. Tom Brady is a great player, but it seems like he always gets the calls to go his way. He always gets the momentum to go his way, and they definitely want somebody to be the hero. They want somebody. Part of this is because LeBron James is doing so great and going to the finals every year. They need somebody equivalent, right? You know, Michael Phelps, hey, swimming's not that popular, right? So I'm not saying Brady ain't great. He is. But, man, that defense, that defense won that Super Bowl for them. Thank you. But in this Super Bowl, everybody talked about the bad calls, calls that we haven't seen all year in the regular season they let go. But in the Super Bowl, whenever Brady – they extended plays and extended the offense. Honey Badger gets a pick. They took it away. They said there was holding across the field. Guys, I've been watching football for over 30 years professionally. I mean, I know what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? And it just seems like he's a manufactured champion. And, you know – you can't put race aside because, you know, our society, sports reflects our society, and there is racial tension. I mean, look no what's doubt. going on in the country. You know, people just don't want to admit it, but it's the absolute truth. So I'm saying Brady's great. Don't get me wrong. He's a great quarterback. I don't think he's the GOAT. The best guy I ever saw do it won number 16 in San Francisco. That guy was clutch. No Anyways, doubt, Ricardo. No my, doubt. My pick but, too. Th- no doubt. Thank you for the call. Thanks for being honest and your insight. 
and not being afraid to go against the grain. I appreciate you.